Okay, what's up? I uh, figured I'd just go ahead and make this video because I look up stuff all the time for farming spots and <clears throat> upgrade material spots, money spots, those sorts of things, and I can never find a good, like, kind of comprehensive video where someone breaks it down, so I figured I'd just go ahead and make one, so. What we're going to be covering uh, is essentially everything. We're going to have money farming, experience farming, as well as in-game upgrade materials, and that's just kind of a side benefit, which is really nice. Um, we're gonna hopefully it won't take too long, but we got to cover four locations. The first two locations, I'm gonna show you where to farm Mibu, uh, Mibu balloon pos of possession and Mibu balloons of wealth. After that, <clears throat> we're gonna go to the Ashina Castle and hit a certain idol there that will let us farm XP, money, as well as in-game in upgrade materials. Fuck, I can't talk today. And then fountainhead location which is going to be our primary farming spot but we're going to need both balloons for that but that's also money and xp and a pretty good item drop as well so we're going to go ahead and start and head to ashina castle so this will cover how to get mibu mibu balloon uh, of possession and that's going to increase drop rate <clears throat> uh, item drop rate. And so some of these spots are admittedly like really kind of monotonous, um, but I think and like repetitive, but I believe that's kind of the point. Uh, this one's pretty short and boring, but it goes quickly if you have something else to do while you're like listening to some music or whatever. So we're gonna start here. First thing we want to get is your final uh, fan upgrade. I should have just went down. Golden Vortex. It's gonna be four spirit emblems each time you use it, but it can be used twice. So essentially, what this is gonna do is it's gonna mug the enemy for an extra item, as well as turning them around to open them up to a backstab. And this is the only thing we're gonna need for this area. So we're going to go forward, ignore this guy down, we're going to grapple up here. Now down below you're going to see dumb fat guy. You want to activate your mug So right there, you'll see scrap magnetite and grab iron. And we're going to do the same thing with this guy. There you go, Mibu Balloon Possession. Or Mibu Possession Balloon. So I guess this would actually help if you rang the uh, Demon Bell. Try that one quick. Ringing the Demon Bell makes things a little harder, but it also ups item drop rate just naturally. Uh, so that can be combined with the rest of this because the farming spots really aren't too hard. So even having the Demon Bell active isn't going to make the game that much harder for you to do this, and it's a lot more effective. Sorry about this, I completely forgot that I had to ring this shit. Alright, let's head back. Okay, so, but that's the route. That's the, uh, you're just going to hit those two dummies over and over and over again with the fans. Uh, the fan will m more often than not get a second balloon, so that's four per run, and uh, that just adds up over time. And then we're going to use these uh, to get the Mibu wealth possession, or wealth balloon. And then once we have those, we can head to Fountainhead. So again, you're gonna turn right, you're drop a up here, drop a up here, you're gonna see dumb guy down below, activate your fans, use them. There you go, two scrap magnet type, Nebu, possession balloon. Go to this guy as well. Boom, two balloons right there. 
and that's it. And then you just come right over here, jump over this wall, you're back at the idol. Rest. We'll do it one more time. You, you should know me. I like to do my fan midair. jump over this wall back at the idol so you do that over and over and over again and that's going to get you your balloons for possession which are going to further increase your drop rate <clears throat> the next spot is for balloons of wealth these have a much lower drop rate and it's way more annoying because you have to fight uh that big group of monkeys um in the i believe the the valley where you fight guardian ape so you got to deal with these guys a bit but you want to come to ribbon cave run up here we're gonna enter the valley can't exactly remember the name of it right now so I'm not gonna try to pronounce its name so I'll butcher it but if you play through the game and you're looking at this then you are already very well familiar with one oops man Jump on this big fucking rock right here, and right down below, you are going to see a big old group of monkeys. My favorite thing for this is the golden vortex. I might use blood smoke ninjutsu if they get on if they get on me too heavily. Uh, Whirlwind slash is going to be your best friend here in combination with golden vortex. So what you want to do is come about right here, target one, target one near like the middle, jump, golden vortex. Yikes! That's what I'm talking about. Some of them have guns, and that's never a good thing. But see, look, it's like just one item drop. That was a possession balloon, which is kind of nice, because they drop those as well. But what you want is mainly one Yeah, they drop a lot of ash, too. so we're gonna try this again because I forgot to use the balloon because I'm silly. Looks like hit me too. <laughs> but yeah, that's what you want to do. You just want to use the balloon before you fight the monkeys, jump down. And that whirlwind slash is gonna hit so many of them at once. And they're pretty weak, so you can potentially take out a large number of them per slash that you do. And just hope that RNG is kind and uh, you get the drops you need. But this, and one other location, which I personally don't like as much, uh, drop balloons. This just has more monkeys, so it's just more chance overall to get what you need. Alright, auto balloon. Target, jump down. So there's, there's a balloon right there. See, like out of all the items it dropped, it dropped just one balloon. Um, but this is kind of your spot, and it's really annoying because they're always all over you. Everybody's spam attack. So you just need to move around, unlock, preferably because unlock just kind of gets your camera all fucked up. And then you want to uh, just find good openings for the whirlwind flash. More ash. Um, uh, that'll get you the wealth balloons. 
<laughs> so good luck with that part. Uh, it's just kind of trial and error to be real, but we're going to move on because I already showed you the route. I showed you the area. I showed you what you need for it. And uh, you can probably come up with better ideas and strategies than I have to kill them all at once. Next is going to be Machina Outskirts. We're going to be going to the Outskirts Wall Stairway. I'm going to go there from Ashina Castle just to show anybody who doesn't know how to get there. It's pretty straightforward though. Uh, the dead guy at the start of the stairway tells us that there is a flying kite in the sky. It's also the way to get to the Demon of Hatred fight. So that's essentially the, uh, the path you're going to want to take to get to where we need to go. But we're just going to run there from the Ashina Castle idol so that there's just a clear picture of exactly where you need to go. Using the stairway as the castle is a great way to orient yourself to the map overall. Because it's pretty hard to ignore this giant fucking stairway. Alright, so we're going to go up. You, you're a shinobi. He's going to tell you about a kite up here to assist the reinforcements. We're going to ignore everybody killing each other. And pop up here, there's the kite right above us. One, 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 jump, grapple. Boom. If you want, there's an idol up the stairs. There's no enemies, so you should be able to hit it pretty easily. It's the old grave idol. And then we're going to come down here. If you really want to make this easier, you can use a... Uh, the Gachi Shiver. It's going to make you invisible somewhat. It's going to going to hold left. people head right hit one of these grapple points on the screen. Just be quick about it because they like to see it. And then uh, a couple different ways you can get up here, but I mean so probably the best way is to use this turn down your top, jump over here, and we're gonna jump over here, grab this ledge, and there's the idol. Okay, so this is a farm spot for XP, money, and late game upgrade materials, uh, which help me get my uh, Lapis Lazuli uh, upgrades. So, it's real simple. Uh, let's pretend you have a lot of these balloons already. I'm gonna pop one. We're gonna jump over here, grapple onto the slip. We're gonna stab this guy. Just leave the stuff on the ground. Don't absorb it or pick it up. That's probably the most important thing, because the balloon of wealth uh, retroactively works. So you can get the, the money on the ground for the tree just by using the item afterwards. Blood Smoke Ninja is nice here. It's kind of cheap to use. It's only six for you, so it lets you get double kill here. And that's it. You run back as you absorb everything. Uh, if you want to pop a balloon of wealth, you can. It will get you more. A lot of oil, a lot of yellow gunpowder, nothing, uh, no adamantite yet. I believe that's what the upgrade material is. We're just going to rest. We're going to do it again. Drop straight down. Lots of oil. Yellow gunpowder. Some ministry dousing powder. That's all pretty standard shit. my 
smoke. Scrap iron, oil, more oil. No, uh, I have not say it yet. It's interesting. This is where I got it all. But even if uh, it doesn't drop as often as we'd like, it's a great spot for money and experience just overall. It's real quick. It's real easy. It's just like four backstabs, five backstabs. See, I'm already up to 5k in terms of uh, money. And we're already about to hit a second skill point. I don't know how far along I was there, but... One more time. Use another balloon here. There you go, fulminated mercury. That's what you want. That's the one of the final uh, upgrade materials you need for your tools. So that has a chance of dropping while you're doing this. Usually, it's a lot more than just that one. Uh, I guess my, my luck is good right now, but I got plenty of doing this, um, and I didn't do it for very long. There's another one right there. Boom. So that's it. That's the route for this, and. Uh, like I said, those upgrade materials and items uh, using the balloon and using the demon bell, it, that's all just really good side benefit. So once you've hit the balloon spots um, and you've got several of those that you can use disposable and then you have both and uh, if you're getting sick of this spot, there is a great farm spot at the flower viewing stage of the Fountainhead Palace. This is my primary spot to run. Um, yeah, so what we're essentially going to do is take out everything in this area and you just run it over and over and over again. You're going to want the Savvy Maru, uh, which is really good. Blood Smoke Ninja for a situational use. And overall, um, you just kind of want to be careful from the Mist Nobles that can sap your life. And other than that, it should be gold. <laughs> right, so, Savvy Maru. Boom. This thing is super powerful in this area. Almost broken, actually. Alright, so. Get your balloons out. And this is how we're going to do it. You're going to want to use a balloon. Now, you can kill these guys with just one hit. So, you can run in. Just... Oh, two hits. New game plus two. Totally forgot. Combo the shit out of me. Holy fuck. You guys are actually difficult with the demon bell on the game plus two. Kill him. He's really the only real pain in the ass you gotta deal with. So you want to run over here, just sprint openly, stay close to the walls, they won't see you. So you can just come in on this guy, kill him with a pierce, and then get this guy. Usually they don't see you with blood smoke. Double back stab here. Okay. Don't pick these up. Come around the corner, kill this dude. Keep running. There's a dude on the bridge, you can see through the wall here. Kill him. Run into this room, turn left, immediate Miss Noble, kill him. When you turn around, there will be a snake guy. Got your arm. Dude, come on. Don't make this hard. God damn you. Alright, anyway. Then you want to run 
out here, kill this guy, and then run straight ahead, jump here, stab this guy, run straight, run past all these dudes, kill this dude, run past all these dudes. They have seen you, so they're going to follow you around the corner back here, and this is safe space. Make sure that the one, the Miss Noble in the blue is not looking, and then run out and kill this one. And then run forward, kill this Miss Noble. And then run forward even further, and then kill this Miss Noble. At this time, you want to activate, uh, hopefully you're, you can do it faster than me. Um, if you're in earlier game cycles, it should be one hit kills on these Miss Nobles. You don't even have to do a piercing attack, it should just be a sprint slash continue running, sprint slash continue running. Um, hopefully your balloon lasts up till this point, which at this point you want to activate a balloon well, and then just run your route and pick up fucking everything. You can see just the money is racking up right now. Look at that shit. And then you run all the way back over here. Do it again. Blue. Possession. This guy usually opens with a lightning attack. Savvy Mario is a small fucking guy. everything on the ground, do not pick anything up, sprint over here, run in, piercing or slash attack, grab this guy, and then just smoke, back guy, come around the corner, uh, piercing slash or sprinting slash, this is a fast route, and then, Adamant type scrap is another good upgrade material we'll get from doing this.
motorcycles, that should be much easier to deal with. Much easier, because this is the first time I've actually had a lot of trouble doing it, and I've been running this route for quite a while now. And this is, uh, again, this is New Game Plus 2 for me, so it's just a shit show. But, as you can see, it's fucking worth it. It's a lot of money, it's a lot of items, it's a lot of XP. And, uh, again, side benefit is good upgrade materials in both locations for Ashina Castle and Fountainhead. Uh, so, really, the only thing is just that tedious grind for the, uh, for the balloons, and then just hit those two spots to your heart's content. And, um, as long as you have just a little bit of patience and just some time to kill while you sit there and run the route a few times, you'll definitely benefit from it.